Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Um, I'm back as well. After four weeks, um, Harry's nearly four weeks now, so uh, I thought it was time to get back into the office and do a video. I'm going to start off with something not too outrageous. I have, I am going to do the Halloween video for you as well of the makeup that I wore on Halloween because um, to the Halloween ball because loads of people have asked about it. But I am going to do um, Nat Natalia, Vor how do you say it, Vordanova. Natalia Vordanova because she's just absolutely beautiful. She's a Russian supermodel and um, it's quite natural, quite glowy skin and I haven't done one of them for a while. Uh, so, And the next one's going to be quite outrageous so I thought I'd start with that. So um, I'm just going to tie my hair up and then we'll get started. Now Natalia's skin is really, really beautiful. It's really clear. It's really skin that we'd all wish we had. I've got a few little breakouts after having Harry at the moment. Um, it's really dewy, it looks gorgeous. So I'm going to use Becca. I'm going to use the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I'm also going to use um, the Luminous Skin Tinted Moisturiser. I'm going to mix the two together. You can use any sort of foundation that you need. If you need more coverage, go for that. Um, and you can either mix it with something like um, the number 7. This one's peach and this one's pink. They're... Um, radiance boosting as well so you can mix it with that or you can use um, Pixie do a great one MAC do strobe cream so you don't have to stick with the products that I'm using uh, they might be quite expensive so if you want to go for something more affordable just have a little shop brand and I'm sure you'll be able to find something to replace it so I'm just popping the foundation and the shimmer on the back of my hand I'm going to use the brush to blend them together and then just pop that on the skin Now if you hear a little sniffle in a minute, it's probably because Harry is actually in the office with me. Because um, I bring him in. Well, it's not even an office studio. Harry's in here with me because I bring him in to do my videos. Because I can't be away from my little boy. And at the moment he's sleeping. I'm sure he'll wake up hungry in a minute. I've got the foundation on. I'm going to pop a little bit of concealer. I've got um, Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer. I really like this concealer and I use it a reasonable amount. Um, if you've got quite high colour, I've got quite rosy cheeks. Um, you can pop this on the cheeks as well. It's really nice. I'm just going to pop it on the back of my hand and use a brush to apply to the under eyes. on there. So there I have super glowing skin. I'm gonna um, add a little bit of blusher and then come back to the skin right at the end because um, it probably will need a powder and then a bit more of a highlighter put in. I've got a Daniel Sandler Riviera uh, watercolour cream bronzer and I'm just going to use um, a Real Techniques contour brush so through the cheekbone but I'm also going to use my foundation brush just to clean up underneath take it around the head a little bit. Now let's move on to the eyes. I have got Avon Super Shock. This is in Cream Dream and Chocolate Melt. And I am going to start with the Chocolate Melt, which is the brown end, and just run that right the way over the eye. It's kind of that effortless makeup and this is great because it's creamy and it moves so I can blend it really nicely. Doesn't need to be done tidily, it's going to be blended into the eye. Going to take it underneath the eye as well. If 
probably quite a reasonable thickness under the eye. And I'm going to use a MAC 239. Just to soften. You can use your finger if you'd prefer. Just to soften. I'm also going to take a little Avon palette. This one's got six colours in it. I'm only going to use two of them. It's a uh, true colour six in one. And I'm going to use a MAC 217. This one here. And then I'm going to blend it with that one just to hold it in place and make it a little bit darker. So that's just getting brushed over the eye. That's gorgeous colour. And under the eye. And then I'm going to take the darker brown and just run that under the eye. Using a big brush because I don't want it to be too perfect. It's not meant to be. And then just close to the top lid. I'm going to get the gold from the pencil and run it just on the inside of the eye. I'm going to run that just on my brow bone as well and use my finger to soften that. Now for mascara, I have got um, an Ico mascara. I've got three different ones actually. There is skinny, curvy and fat and they all come with different, different brushes. So the skinny one has got a very skinny brush, that's the fat brush and then the curvy brush and I think the brush is so important with mascaras that's what I look for in a mascara I'm going to use the fat on top and the skinny on the bottom right on the bottom I'm going to use the skinny brush mascara and I'm actually going to really smudge it so the mascara goes on um, my skin underneath because it's meant to be that kind of effortless look where it's, it's not it's the imperfect perfect if it makes sense so I'm going to pop that on first I really like this skinny one if you like a lot of product this is the one So what I'm going to do is really push that so close to the eye that it's smudging underneath and then leave it. Probably really want to clean it up but leave it. Now the brows are naturally um, quite dark but natural. So I'm going to, but mine aren't really a great shape, so I'm going to use a little bit of Laura Mercier um, Brow Powder Duo, and this one's in Ash. And then I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Begal over the top. To apply the powder, I'm going to use a MAC 263. The difference between a MAC 266 and a MAC 263 is one, the 263 is synthetic, and the 266 is real hair. A lot of people have asked us that in the videos. Um, it's totally up to you which you prefer. They're both very, very similar. If anything, I would say the 263 probably keeps its shape a little bit better. So I'm just going to use the powder very softly. really soft just to shape the brow it's this brow that's a really bad shape so that's why I have to powder and that one's not so bad 
and um, this is the side I sleep on. So they grow very all over the place. That was something I always used to say to people when I would do their makeup. I'd be like, oh, do you sleep on this side? They'd be like, how do you know? That gives your brows will grow a different way. Okay, so that's softly through the brows and then always wipe off the excess of this because it's always got too much product on and just softly, I like to brush it upwards so it looks more natural I've done a brow video so if you I, if you don't understand by following this one go to the brow video, we'll explain it for you Okay, so that's the eyes basically done. Really simple, really quick, but effective. I'm just going to powder a tiny bit because I do look super shiny. And even though in a lot of her shots she does look very shiny, um, I think for everyday wear, probably have to um, powder it down a little bit. I've just got an Avon Ideal Shade in Fair. Now on the lip I am going to use um, a Bourjois Lip Gloss, um, I can't even speak, it's having a baby, a Bourjois Lip Gloss and on the end it has a teeth whitener so I'm going to give it a try. I haven't used this yet but Sam reckons it's really cool. So for the first time on camera I'm going to paint my teeth, I suppose they have to be quite dry and preferably not have food in them, like mine did. Right. I don't know it makes that much difference, it might need another coat. Let's put the gloss on. Now, before I had Harry, a lot of people were like, oh my god, your lips are so full. They're not anymore. That was just the water. But uh, I was hoping they may stay nice and full, but no. I don't know if that's really worked. But I like the idea of it. So, I don't think I need to do any more, I think otherwise it's just overdone. Let me take my hair down. So there you have the finished Natalia Bordenova look from Russia with Love. I hope you've enjoyed that, it's really simple, really easy and um, it's lovely to be back. Bye bye.